It's increasingly important for universities uh, as they strive to maximise the social and economic impact from research that's undertaken in the universities um, to make sure that you know they adequately protect and make efforts to commercialise uh, intellectual property uh, for the good of wider society um, and to stimulate uh, local and regional economic impact. It is really important that uh, academics can show um, that they are successful not just purely on academic uh, outputs in terms of publishing papers, uh, but also in, if you like, um, creating impact from the research, uh, both in terms of societal impact and economic impact, um, through generation uh, of IP, uh, working with uh, industry and with other stakeholders in society who ultimately uh, utilise the outputs of research. Um, and so increasingly to actually uh, win uh, research grants uh, from national and international uh, sources, uh, such as Rise in 2020, really academics really now have to be able to show that they're good at both um, you know, producing academic outputs and generating intellectual property uh, and working with industry to commercialise that IP. I suppose at a very early stage in their career to make sure that they're aware of the importance um, of you know good record keeping, of making sure that they adequately record uh, and capture and protect their IP before uh, they publish their research um, in the traditional uh, ways that academics publish, or indeed before they talk about it in social media uh, or you know post them um, uh, on, a, on a website or whatever. Um, that really it's very important to know at an early stage, you know, the steps that um, a researcher needs to take in collaboration with the University uh, Technology Transfer Office, um, the steps they need to take to make sure that that IP is adequately uh, protected um, and recorded, you know, before uh, it's published.